Figured it just made my life easier. <laughs> Alas, what shall we do with you, Miss Ames? Her. Give her some equal rights, maybe? Stop slapping her ass in the workplace? I think that's all she wants. She's a reasonable sort. Hmm, so we got one more. Should be easy enough to take out. If he's happy enough to start chopping away. There we go. And chainsaw. Oh, you want to come at me? Fine, come at me. Come on, keep coming. He's not coming at me at all. See now we got we got a letter explosive solution. I am going to blink my way back up here, cause again he spotted me, but I'm gonna try and err on the side of mercy. And uh, I'm gonna try and not kill him. Where do you go? Oh, he could be chums if you. Come out. Keep promise. There we go. You did good. You were one of the few people to spot me, but good night, buddy. Good hustle and everything, but stay down. Just don't bother me anymore. All right. Let me take a little gander in my void gaze. Let me take a look into the... Ooh, bone charm. There's also a rat there. I hope he slowly nibbles the guy to death. <laughs> bone charm. Good. Let me equip it. What is this bone charm? Strong arms? Oh, choking is faster. Considering the amount of people that I choked out, and the amount of people I will most likely continue to choke in this game, that's actually a very good, um... It's actually a very good thing for me to have. Alright, let me blink my way on up here. Alright, so we got a butcher. He's in desperate need of a choking. And choking he shall be. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Choked he shall be. <laughs> if I'm going to be commentating on games, if I'm going to be doing that, I need to have correct grammar. Alright. Some people have actually been getting a lot of messages from people asking, you know, any tips on, you know, they're, they're doing live commentary themselves and if, if there was any tips that I could give. Um, as cliched as it sounds, the most cliched tip is actually the, 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 the most practical one. Um... That, that I can give you it's it's literally just just be yourself have your own personality kind of just come through on your videos and I think we're about to do something significant here you were working for Ramsey. how long how much does he know by now Ramsey no this is about the workers this is about fair pay and safe conditions don't bother you're not the first of his moles I've caught what happened to Top. Don't you step towards that lady, you bastard. Hello, Abigail? How do you do? Well, Dowd, what do you want with me? I'm not here for you. I'm here to learn about a ship called the Delilah. Did the Lord Regent send you? That old fool, Hiram Burroughs. I know all about the Delilah. All of it. And I can give you exactly what you want. Please do. Not so fast. I need something from you in exchange. That's what I thought. What? We're both professionals, Mr. Dowd. I was hired to get these gutless workers striking, which I did very nicely. And then destroy the slaughterhouse itself. That's where I got caught. And that's where I need your help. How? The whale oil in those tanks out there is enough to destroy this entire place. The important industrial bits, especially. Just open all the valves at once to let the oil start flowing. The pressure will go out of control and... Boom. What about the people inside? Growing a conscience? The factory workers are already out. My boss will hire them on, in better conditions than they'd ever see here. Not the butchers, though. They can die screaming for all I care. Don't try and con me. Wouldn't dream of it. Here's the key. Don't get caught. You take care of the slaughterhouse, and I'll tell you everything I know about the Delilah. You know, 
I could put you in Rothwild's interrogation chair myself. Why should I bargain with you? Because it's a long and messy solution. And I'm gambling you're not the kind of man who likes that. Make a deal with me, and I can tell you what you want, and pay you for your trouble. I'll consider it. And consider it is about the most that I can do because blowing up the entire facility... Well, <laughs> five injuries, two fatalities. <laughs> Those are numbers I can live with in my workplace. Um, but blowing up the facility just screams high chaos. The interrogation chair is set in the meat locker fully powered. We have run some tests on a few of the most problematic laborers. They spill out all their secrets very quickly. They seem to die easily after about four treatments. She's ready for you whenever you need her. Alright. You know, I'm actually I'm not sure if it's possible. But, uh... <laughs> I really do have an evil side. That is the first place my mind went to. I'm gonna stick Rothwild into his interrogation chair. And, uh... And see what I can get out of him. Because I'm just a bit of a dick that way. Also, you know, if you have an interrogation chair, if you're willing to put people into it, you kind of got to be willing to be, you know, to have yourself put into it as well. Late report for the month of Nets. The Dauntless sailed north ten days to no result. Where it is, she restocked in Driscoll to pursue a large pod east of Morley. The Delilah's coming back fully loaded. No reports of lights or singing. Another sign the barristers lost it. The Huntress is in dry dock after a nighttime ramming off Pandicia. Engineers looked at the damage. They say it wasn't a whale. But if it was, it was a very odd looking one. Actually, that might have been the Outsider. Uh, because apparently, the Outsider's actual appearance, his, his like true physical appearance, is um, a giant leviathan. Now, where is that interrogation chair? Whale oil? The whale. Empress should have hired you to protect her. We'd be living in a different world now. Yes, yes we would. It would be entirely more ruthless. <laughs> Remember that, Corvo's a better guy than Dowd. Jeez, I will someday pronounce his name correctly. Alright, let me blink over here. We just gotta get him to the interrogation room. Seems like the kind of thing that would be reasonably easy to do. Huh. Seems like it could be a new room. Oh, great, everyone's already unconscious. I think I might have knocked out the entire facility. The entire workforce in this building has now been knocked unconscious by me. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Okay. A mana elixir. Wouldn't go amiss. Oh, no, I've got ten. Uh, let me just void gaze it up a bit. <laughs> another, another bone chair. This is uncarry... Uncar... Un Hang on, let me put him down. <laughs> I need to think. I can't think with him on my shoulders. This is uncharacteristically lucky for me today. Uh, let's see what does this do. Another bone charm. And this one does sustained rage. Your adrenaline takes slightly longer to cool down. Alright. I don't think I particularly need it, but I've got I've got a free slot and I've got nothing else to put in it. So, Alright. Pick you up. Uh, what's this? Area map. Oh, okay. I actually think I've got a pretty good understanding of the place as is. So... <laughs> hey, it's a whale! <laughs> I didn't see that the last time. Pick that up. Alright. So I think we can go ahead and stick him into his own interrogation chair for a delightful bit of irony. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I want to thank you all for your support, by the way. I can never, ever thank you enough for that. I'll make sure you get to enjoy this. Whole lot of unnecessary blinking there, Lurk. <laughs> I approve. Good hustle. Alright, let's see what this says. Worker signatures. I, the undersigned, agreed to renounce my any association with any employee union to abstain from discussing such matters at any time and to promptly report any co-workers that encourage union views. I agree that all grievances will be taken up with Bundry Rothwild and his staff in an open and fair manner. <laughs> I love how businesses try to have diplomatic little notes like that, but it never works out that way. Oh, I guess I'm full up on health elixirs. Oh, and I also pierce him with the table. Alright then, Rothwild, let's interrogate you. 
What do you want to know that's worth crossing a man like me? I want to know about a ship named Delilah. What's behind the name? Choke on your own spit. Alright, well that's fair point. Here's my counter argument. Who is Delilah? Ha! Think I'll give up a friend at the first tickle? That's the kind of thing I'd pay your sister for down at the Golden Cat. We'll feed you through your own factory. See if we can get oil out of your plumber. <laughs> I gotta say, I love Dode's voice. You know your work, I'll give you that. We can talk this out, like businessmen. Why did you name it Delilah? What do you care? And it wasn't me. The previous owner named it after some sweetheart as a painting. Piss off! Oh well, you provided me with all the information I needed. Not. I don't feel that. I think he's holding Would something it back. To the question? Yeah! Who was the previous owner? Barrister Timps! All right. He told me the story. Delilah was a woman he knew. Grew up working in Dunwall Tower. And got kicked out. Painter. Funny airs like proud. She caught his eye, but it was worse than that. He couldn't think of anything else, just her. She whirled into his mind somehow. He built that ship for her and a lot more. Gave her half his fortune. Then he got scared. Came to me afraid. A man like that, afraid. He wanted to dump the ship and I needed a business partner, so we made a deal. Meant to change the name. Wish I'd done it. <laughs> I sure bet he does. Here's the room key. When you're ready to go. Sir, earlier I spotted crates bound for the most remote corner of the Empire. Might be worth stuffing him in one, just to tie things off. He doesn't seem the type to forgive. Of course. Why go through all the trouble? When a blade to the neck would accomplish the same thing. Prepare Rothwell for the crate. It's different because I don't want to stick a knife in his neck. I actually want to try and redeem myself a little bit. Alright, Rothwell, you lucky bastard. I'm gonna go ahead and show. <laughs> well, you know, again, it's not even like he's being particularly lucky. Hang on, pick him up. Because, um, you know, he's like, oh, lucky he gets to live. I'm stuffing him in a crate. To send him off to a, uh, to what sounds like a pretty awful place. Alright, so the crates were... Is that it? Yeah, shipping crate. Uh, I'm gonna be blinking. I'm gonna need to blink. Yep. Alright. I don't think you can actually climb up ledges with blinking when you have someone on you, but luckily I got my jump. And um, blink should take care of the rest. Alright, I think this is the one we're dumping him into. Oh yeah. It looks cozy. <laughs> Non-lethal outgoing cargo. Uh, main exit. No, we're going for the sore exit. I'm a bit worried that there might be more um there might be more guards outside now that we've kind of moved on with the storyline a little bit. So I would rather not walk into their loving embrace. <laughs> I'd rather go up the sneaky way that I came in and uh, and hope for the best. I need to get back to the room that had the giant whale that was still alive that I euthanized. Which was not a pleasant experience, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't enjoy that very much. I think I can then... Right. If you're wondering why I pause so much between blinks... Oh shit! All right. Uh, I hate skimmers like you. Oh, this will do me. Quit hiding. All right, wasn't the worst exit strategy I've ever had. Uh, main exit. Sore exit. What's it doing all the way over there? This is the way I came in. This is the way I want to get out. Oh, you're kidding me! It's a completely different. Oh wait, no. We can exit the slaughterhouse. Excellent. Staying. Isn't there a whole bunch of rats there? 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to save the game and sleep on this. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please let me know if you want to see more. And I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Take care.